Welcome back to Creepy Crawler's Garage and another daily update. We've got a quick update on the TRXZ project and an update on a big project that may be coming to the channel. Don't go anywhere. And last Friday's episode had a pretty good response down in the comment section about the mismatched tire on this front corner uh, where we had the damage. So I think I'm going to leave that. I think the response was good enough and you guys really liked it. So I'm going to leave it just like this where we have three of the same tire and then one different tire like we had damage in this front corner. Uh, but the, what I'm mainly needing to work on now are these windows. I'm going to finish out these windows um, so then we can start getting to paint on the body and working on the overall body. Um, so I just want to let you guys know that we will be doing wire mesh on in the side windows here because there's going to be passengers in fact there's gonna be two passengers uh in this truck and i want you to be able to see them through the window you know with with all the armor plating if we do armor plating everywhere you won't be able to see the figures the uh driver and the the gunner that's going to be in the in the truck so i'm going to do these out of like a wire mesh i think um and then we had decided to do the back windows as pop outs so i went ahead and put those together in fact this is the right one for this side so we're going to do that in the uh, in the same diamond plate uh, styrene. And then I had a great comment that was talking about, you know, you don't have any weapons facing backwards. If something happens where you get stuck in an alley or whatever and stuff's coming from behind you, what are you going to do? Because if you think about it, we've got the big 50 cal that's going to be forward. We've got the pop-up missile launchers that aim forward. Even the uh, rocket launcher on the back cage really faces forward. So what I thought about, because originally I was thinking about having this pop open and then you had more weapons. So what if instead we make it pop backwards. So we have it pop towards the rear of open up this way. And so that we have uh, guns facing backwards. And I think probably what we'll do, because uh, I also had a lot of comments about adding more machine guns, needing more uh, guns and less rockets. So what I think I'll do is put some machine guns in here and then that'll give us cover in the back. It'll give us cover for our gunner facing backwards and just for the truck in general facing backwards. So when you flip the switch to pop all the guns out, these will pop open backwards. I think that was a good idea. And then I've also been working on the turret mount for uh, the rocket launcher. So last week I'd put in these bars to support the mount for, for the rocket launcher. In fact, let me, uh, let me put it in there and you kind of remind you. So the rocket launcher, I've got the servo hooked up to it now. So let me get the wire through. And so the rocket launcher sits right here. I'll aim up a little bit so you can see, sits right here. So I, I put these bars in to support the bracket, basically the channel that it's gonna swivel on. Um, and then as you just saw, I've gone ahead and mounted the servo. I've got a little uh, micro servo that's gonna control it. Um, so what I'm doing now is just boxing in, if you can see the white styrene, I'm boxing in, building a box around the servo. Inside this box, there'll be a bracket that the servo mounts to. So then the the, uh, the rocket launcher will rotate off that. Um, and then I'll probably just build this out to look like um, a self-welded type box, like something that we put together in the shop. Uh, basically just a, a bracket. I'm gonna do the same thing along uh, along the uh, the bars here. Just make it look like it was something we welded up in the shop kind of real Mad Max style. And I think that'll look pretty good and hide the servo. And then we'll route the wire forward and then down into the cab. And I think that'll work for supporting and housing the uh, the rocket launcher. Uh, so I'll be finishing that up this evening. We'll get to take a look at it hopefully tomorrow. Uh, hopefully maybe even working. We can watch it. We can watch it work. Um, so that'll that'll I think that'll be good. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Does that work for you? I'm thinking about adding some little bolt heads on this to make it look like it was bolted together, bolted and welded together. Just give it some details like that. And then I've also got to finish out the, uh, finish out the rest of this cage back here. But I wanted to get this built in first so that I knew if I needed any bars, if anything was gonna be in the way uh, of the bars on the cage. Anyways, let me know what you think about the TRXZ project so far down in the comments section. Uh, I think it's coming along slowly, but surely. We've been working on the TRXZ project now for a while, and we've even built out a complete backstory for it about it being in a zombie apocalyptic year 3000 kind of setting. So I was really thinking, why don't we do something bigger? Why don't we go to the next step? Why don't we not just leave it as a one truck build, but we actually build a world uh, that that truck lives in? In other words, let's actually build a creepy crawler's garage in the year 3000 in the zombie apocalypse and let's build other vehicles that go around it and let's 
film our own Mad Max. Let's film our own Creepy Crawlers version of a zombie apocalyptic Mad Max style world. And so that got me to thinking, what other vehicles do I have? Because we'll need, we're going to have the shop truck, but obviously we have, other, we're going to need other vehicles out in that world. I mean, where did we get that fender from? Where did we get that all those vehicles have to exist out there along with all the different characters we're going to have to create out in this world? So I first started thinking, what's another vehicle that we can put in that world? And I quickly realized I have one that's been sitting on the shelf for a while. So this Kyosho has been on my shelf. It was actually given to me by Lee over at Bull Gear RC. Uh, he gave this to me and I believe he got it from somebody else. And I don't I don't want to say a name because I don't remember exactly who it was. So, Lee, if you're watching, just if you could, leave me down in the comments. Who who gave you this car? I want to get the complete lineage of this car because um, I know it has it passed hands a few times before it came to me. Just let me know down in the comments or let us know down in the comments. But I think this could be another perfect apocalyptic vehicle. Um, I'm thinking what we do with this. Well, first of all, let me pull the body off. Uh, it looks really nice now, nice and clean, but... This thing, when I received it, was in horrible shape. It was full of gravel, full of dirt, uh, dirty. I took a picture of all the parts before I, uh, I, I completely took it apart, took a picture of all the parts so you can see how just how dirty they were. And then over the weekend, I completely reassembled it, re-greased everything, uh, re-oiled everything. So now we've got a, a nice running vehicle because this is going to have to run. Obviously, if we're going to make this world and we're going to film it, they, they got to be more than just pretty pieces that sit on a shelf, they're gonna have to actually work just like the TRXZ project. But I think what we do with this one, obviously this is gonna be uh, a vehicle of an opposing shop or whatever, you know, part of the quote unquote bad guys, I guess you can say. Um, so I think we're gonna have to come up with a theme for that. And what I'm thinking, cause on the TRXZ project, it's all missile launchers, guns, things that shoot projectiles. I think this one's gonna be all spikes, knives, saw blades, uh, all, I guess you could say, uh, melee type weapons. So we've got ranged weapons on our truck, our shop truck. This is gonna be all melee weapons. I think this could be really cool. Um, and I'm even thinking about doing the air ride on it where, it, where it'll pop up and down. Um, so we can sit it on the ground just like you see, see here. Um, I think it's gonna be, I think it'd be pretty cool. Let me know what you think um, down in the comment section. It, first of all, is this something that you would like to see? The total, uh, I don't know what we want to call it. We want to call it CCR 3000 AD or something like that, or Creepy Crawlers 3000 AD, whatever we want to call the program, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm literally just spitballing off the top of my mind right now. Um, but whatever we want to call it, do y'all want to see that world? Is that something? Because I'm really thinking about even building a new, a whole, a no, a whole new garage that's apocalyptic. Um, I'm thinking about clearing out some space in the garage so I can build uh, sound stages out there that we could film on. Um, and then I've got this vehicle that I want to do, um, like I was just saying, some kind of melee weapon type vehicle. And then also, I've got the Monster Beetle that I built for the Patreon page a while back, and I think this could make for a nice apocalyptic vehicle. Also, obviously, we'll remove the we will remove the driver. I build out the you know, own interior and then use the characters we're going to be using uh, in the trucks. For, uh, for filming purposes, but I think this could be a pretty good, we could have a, a gun turret sticking out, sticking out the back here. We could do all kinds of things with uh, this monster beetle, and it's already, because I built this basically as an example of weathering. Let me zoom in, you can see it a little better. So we actually had weathered this up already uh, as an example of how to do some weathering techniques and that kind of thing. I did it over at the Patreon page. Um, but anyways, I think this could be another, a third vehicle um, we could have in this world. And of course, there could be more vehicles uh, to come. But I, I'm kind of excited about doing something like that. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested down in the comment section. Uh, let me know if it is something you're interested. What would you call it? Thanks for joining me again here in the shop today, guys. Uh, I think this could be a really fun project. If it's something you're interested in, let me know. Um, I do still have stickers. Uh, if you're interested in these, to three dollars. Uh, hit me up down in the uh, at the email down in the description. Uh, hit the like button if you would. It does help the channel. Hit the subscribe button. If you've watched this far and you enjoyed what you saw, hit the subscribe button. Keep up with all this coming up and the new programming that might be coming to the channel. Uh, again, let me know what you think down in the comment section, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.